Hello everybody, so this is another video brought to you by Chantella, that is myself. I find it a bit weird saying my name first and saying who I am, but hey, this is me. In my last video, I spoke a bit about doing tracing of the, of the image first, of the reference image, and also spoke about just going in freehand and just drawing it yourself. So in this video, I'm showing you how I just draw it myself and just go in freehand with different brushes. It is a longer video, but if you're committed and you love art, you can stay. If not, then that's fine. So here you can see, it's my first portrait. Um, I have marked out all my different shapes. I went for the circular, circular, is, is, is that really a circle shape? But yeah, it's just kind of like a circle shape. And then I've added all the dark lines as well. So on the bottom of the page, you can see I've picked up my different tones that I will be using, all the different colors and just place them at the bottom. I took those colors, I think it was just from the image, the reference picture. When you're screen recording like this on the iPad, so this is just a time-lapse downloaded straight from Procreate. When you're recording like this, it doesn't show your reference image, but this image is of a woman chosen by the Sky Arts um, portrait art of the week. So each week during lockdown they had a different artist sorry a, no a different celebrity or art actually yeah artist celebrity a different person every week um that artists or everyday people <laughs> could draw or paint and yeah so this is my my um example of that it's quite funny <laughs> i'm speaking about other people as if they're not artists but yeah anyone can be an artist however you have to just put the work in and make it make sense for you so here you can see I've added my medium dark and now adding the light tones I haven't mixed my colors so I haven't added like my three primary colors so blue red and yellow to make a dark brown for my dark tones I've actually gone in and added a bit of black, which is a bit cheeky, it's very cheeky. Um, if I was painting on a canvas, I would have either used navy blue or like a very dark green. But here I just wanted it really to stand out and just be ridiculous. This portrait, I really like it because the tones, the, the, the texture that's created with the dry brush strokes, I'm not sure if you can see in detail, but the dry brush strokes on the top of the forehead with the cross hatch. I just, I just really like it. I just like the way it, the, she's been brought to life by just lines, shapes and tones, the formal elements of art. Look at that. Look at the eyelashes. Mm -mm -mm. Very lovely. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah, watch to the end and I will continue to share about the next portrait. Okay, now we move on to my next portrait. This is of a man, an Asian man. I'm gonna go with Asian man, yes. So, I don't really paint men at all. So, <laughs> this year's been quite interesting. I've had more requests to paint men. And uh, yeah, it's been good, it's been good. You know, I, I like the nose and the geometric shapes that you can find in the face. And yeah, it's been all right, it's been good. I, I really try to think of portraits just as shape and line and shape and line and shape and line because when you start thinking about the person or a bit more then you kind of lose it. it you you lose what you're doing it for and what it is it makes it so much simpler so if you see here i've gone very simple i've marked out all the different shapes i've used the different tones i've gone in with a dark i think that's a navy blue I did do this a while ago, but I just thought, let me just upload with a bit more information. 
put on navy blue teeth giving him some white shiny teeth i haven't even gone in with detail just marked out all the different shapes the different tones which is which was really fun if you look at that look at that look at that So only until around now is it's clear, it's clearer who it is and a bit more about the person. You can see that the the, the eyes have come to form. You can see around the beard. The nose is a bit wax still, but I'm sure I work into that in the future. Look, look, you've got the light coming in. So I went for a yellow turn. I like to add a bit of pinky pinky around the cheeks so we don't look too dead. A bit live. He had some grey hairs, which is very cute. Cause I don't, I've never really painted grey hairs. Um, I normally paint myself a lot, <laughs> which is uh, yeah. <laughs> During the lockdown, I looked around and there's just so many paintings of my portraits of myself, and I just thought, whoa, this is getting a bit weird. So it was very lovely to be able to take be a part of the Sky Arts Portrait of the Week, not just paint myself. So yeah, here we go, the background's changing. Okay, now we're diving into portrait number three, which is a beautiful woman. So I start off the portraits very similar. I, I select the colors from the reference image and then I start to make the shape. So I've gone with very big and bold shapes here. You can see I've gone in straight away with the hair, the, the face, and the clothes so it's, it's just very quick actually looking back at this it's very quick you see i put some wiggly wiggly lines in there and now going with the darker not too dark this is the medium <laughs> i was gonna say a joke but let me not so yeah so this is the medium tone i've gone in with but i find this editing so weird i don't know why i took the hair off to do the editing um i could have just put it to the different layer but that's how I did it. It looks very creepy, but we get there in the end. <laughs> so yes, you can see here, I've gone in with the darker tones for the eyebrows, for the pupil, around the mouth is very beautiful. We've got the pinky tones. Hopefully I add some pink to the cheeks. We do, this does look very creepy still. And we've, ah, oh, here we go. It's all blended a bit more. We've got some yellow some pinks beautiful so there is a smudging tool you can use on the ipad pro which then it just smudges the the colors together so it mixes the colors together on on the actual canvas ah here we go her hair's back we're back to normal um i don't think everyone can get away with no hair <laughs> yeah so here you can see i've made her face a bit bigger wider or i can just say a bit more defined here, I'm not really loving this one because the lines around the face are so deep. I don't understand why it's so deep. It just looks a bit cut off. I don't understand why I did that. Okay, now portrait number four. So we are... This one I found was a bit strange. I think it was the brush. I honestly believe it was the brush. So I went for this squiggly, squiggly brush. And I did the same as I did before. I marked out the shapes. I think the colour was a bit wrong as well. Um, put the hair on. And it was so zoom. It was so small. I needed to zoom in, really, to get the detail in. And maybe I would have benefited a lot if I actually marked up the shapes first. Or even done a little tracing of a bit. But this task was to not do any tracing. So, I must say, for a non-traced image, this is good. This is very good. <laughs> It just needs a bit more oomph to it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be too harsh myself. I do like the different textures with the layers that it's created from the layers. 
and it does look a bit fuzzy and I like that. So we don't believe in floating heads, so she's going to get some clothes very soon. I wanted to make her hair a bit darker. And it looks like here I went back to the reference image and wanted to just edit it up a bit. There we go, bling bling. And now she's got clothes. There we go. Much better. But this brush wasn't my favourite brush. It's a bit dusty for me. I didn't really like this brush. But I like the portrait from the brush. Maybe around the underneath the cheek area. So the jaw line here. Oh, here we go. It's like I'm reading my own mind. Just to clean it up a bit. There's too many lines going on there. Yeah, here's me going crazy with the background. Okay, portrait number five. I got my numbers a bit mixed up before. So portrait number five. Here, I thought I was clever. So I wanted to create the portrait using all these little crystals, the crystal brush on the Procreate app. Um, I went off the same way. So doing all the marking out the shapes with the color, going with the lights and the darks. But I think the background is just a bit off. I don't know why I chose a dark green background. What was going through my mind? Yes, and yeah, yeah, here we are. So at first it does look a bit ghostly, but we get there in the end, we get there in the end. So just bear with me, bear with me. Added the color to the hair. We went in very quickly with this one. And I, you can see here that I've used a smaller bra, smaller size crystal to create her face. It's very, <laughs> I don't know what came about my head for me to make a portrait with crystals, with a crystal brush. But yeah, you can see here, we have the smaller crystals and so on. This is all freehand. It's all freehand, no tracing here. Wow. <laughs> and then I put green in her face as well. Poor lady. It's nice though. It gets in the end. When the detail comes in the eyes, it's like, okay, we know what this is. What's going on? I like the, the hints of red around her face as well. And yeah, just cleaning up the eye there. Yeah, yeah I should actually rate these next time. <laughs> Less hair. I don't know, what, why is there grey in her face? Why is there grey in her face now? What is going on? Okay, I like, I like. Slow down, slow down, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, so we're going into portrait number six. Now, this one has done, I've done it in a different style. I don't know why the screen is blank, but oh, here we go. So the colors coming through, so I selected the colors from his face, but then I, and right now I think that's a lie because his face is no way it's yellow. Okay, no, I haven't. I've completely gone for an expressive um, piece of artwork. It's cool. It's cool. We've gone with the same method, matching, um, marking out his different, all the different shapes in his face. This would have benefited from a different colored background, just so I could have seen the shapes a bit more. Oh, oh, it, oh this is weird. I didn't even know that was coming up. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming up. I'm honestly just watching this back whilst editing now. Okay, so we've gone for darker eyebrows. So yeah, so the tones again are the ones at the top. Oh, I don't know why I went with that pink. Oh, it's a bit weird, a bit weird. But I like the orange, it reminds me of um, Kenny from South Park. <laughs> or actually one of my, my own self portraits. Yeah, his ears are a bit ridiculous, however, He's known for his ears, this this celebrity. It's a shame I don't know the names of the celebrities. If you know them, please feel free to put them down in the comments. That'd be very helpful. Okay, okay. So we've gone for the layers of yellow on yellow on yellow on pink on pink. I think that previous pink was a bit too bright. I like this. I like it, but I feel like it needs a darker tone around the face, within the face to bring the detail. Not just a purple, just like a black or just like, I don't know, something to just make it stand out a bit more because it has no focal point. It's, it's very flat, this image. I'm being quite harsh myself. Let me stop. Let's find some positives. Okay, so I like the combination of 
the colors and the harmony colors the colors and harmony so the yellows and the the actual oh god what is going on <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying okay 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 there we go it's like i'm going with this at the same time as it editing it okay so we've got in with a darker tone i think i would leave it around here but it seems like i keep on going i keep on going more 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 this would work really well if it was painted with oil paints on a canvas in real life but on the ipad okay here we go yeah so i i must have thought forget this and just completely change it into shapes i like these shapes though very nice hmm get in there get in there okay so portrait number seven our final portrait this beautiful woman i love the curls just from looking at this picture already um it's very renaissance let's go with it so marked out the different colors taking color samples from the reference image this brush was quite nice actually i like this brush it's very smooth and you can apply the layers in bits and bobs in bits and bobs the layers i had i don't know we're just gonna go with bits and bobs i like bits and bobs right now wait a minute this brush is very similar to the one i used before but i didn't like that brush maybe i don't know i don't know right now but yeah so we've gone with the same method marking out the shapes it's a great way to just practice your drawing freehand on the iPad without having to get all the materials out because then it's less about the materials, more about your um, technique. Sometimes when you have all the different paints and stuff out, it's just a lot going on. So here you can see it's very basic, very basic shapes. Just mark them all out. I think at this time I was looking at a few YouTube tutorials on the portrait on the face and the structure. Oh, I really like that shape, just by the nose. Oh, it's gone. Okay, I'll be quiet. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we've got the, the different tones. Even already, kind of, you can see it, her face coming to life. I like it. I like the, the depth around the eyes, how it's going in deep. Mm -mm -mm. Keep going, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay yeah what i've learned <laughs> during this lockdown is eyelids are very important they are very important don't ignore the eyelids oh okay all right all right all right i didn't think i'd cut that off yeah so we've got the darker shades nice this would have benefited from a blue, a dark blue, instead of this jet black. It's a bit harsh on her skin. However, let's see if I blend it in. Yeah. Oh, okay. A few more amendments. Yeah, so at the start, you could see I, I marked out the shape of her face, but it was just from rough estimate. And here you can see I'm changing it around, moving it around. This is really cool. Um, yeah, if you guys want me to do more videos like this, please let me know and I will share more because this is quite fun. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.